in general, I think I can't comment on the whole of Asia Pac because I have some experience in Singapore, Malaysia, and we had a business in Hong Kong and China before. But generally, I feel that traditional hosting is just quite flat. And yeah, and I think, but I think that the likes of maybe Vietnam and Indonesia, there's an actual uh, growth that that's coming because these these markets like Vietnam, for example, are somewhat behind, you know, like they're not as a mature market. So I feel that there's probably more growth in those areas in a traditional hosting sense is what I'm saying. So Singapore, if we're just talking about traditional hosting, it's flat, <laughs> it's definitely flat. And I had a quick look at the um, Singapore domain name registration statistics. Now they don't publish how many dropped off, how many came on, they just have an overall number. That number has been flat at about 180,000 for the last two years or more, right? It goes up a little, goes down again, they have a promotion. Of course, that 180,000 to maintain that, you've got people dropping off and new customers coming on, right? So, um, the government's saying about the smart nation, digital economy, and there is a big awareness of, of this kind of thing. Like, you can take your phone, you can, you can scan a QR code and pay, I get bills in the in the mail now. It's still in the mail, yeah. Like my insurance bill, for example, I just scan my phone on that bill and pay. I want to use a government service, I have to use their online online services. So Singapore is quite connected. The people are connected. The increased need for security, privacy, uh, and reliability. Um, yeah, about a year or two ago, the government, for example, they placed a tender. This tender was for a consolidated web hosting platform for all public facing websites, including schools, government departments, and all this kind of thing, right? Before what was happening is school A would go to vendor A, school B would go to vendor A, a B, and they felt that they were losing um, uh, things like security, common control, this kind of stuff. So we saw that this sort of enterprise level web hosting platform was getting developed by the government with, with this whole wrapper around it of security. And there's some spillover from that now that's spilling down to the enterprises. There is a growth in that kind of area. The growth's not the traditional hosting so much, it's more complex type uh, hosting with security, privacy, and all these things wrapped around it. Concentrate on things like managed services, you need to concentrate on... Okay, here's your solution, and solutions is what I... I believe that the time is right for offering solutions. Not saying, how much RAM, how much... Um, yeah, how much RAM, how much disk space, uh, these kind of things. I don't think the customer need to, even wants to know anymore. I think they... I want something that does something that that helps me. Yeah, they're, they've definitely changed, I think. And we still have the very technical people, but now you've got the new breed of people, the millennials are actually buying, right? <laughs> so the millennials, you know, they, they were brought up with internet app, apps. They were brought up with the internet in, in general. They just want to buy something and expect it to work. Right, that's one thing. And they're no longer asking about, oh, how much RAM does this have? How much, you know, CPU, disk, all this kind of stuff. They're not talking about these nuts and bolts things anymore, right? Um, so they're, they're more concentrated on, I brought the solution from you, it needs to work 100% of the time. And the security issues, they're your problem, not my problem. <laughs> The performance issues are your problem, not my problem, right? So that's why we had to move away from the traditional hosting. So now, basically, the solutions that we've decided that we need to sell, we manage everything for you. We just give you a price, and that's what it is. We take care of the performance. We take care of the uh, security, the patching, all these things. We take care of it for you, and we send you a bill.
So please give us a platform we can build our solution on. It's only one of the it's only one of the um, components to the whole solution, but it helps us to speed up the delivery of the solution. The other thing that it's got for for the likes of say a web developer, it's got uh, development type tools in there. You know, Git, Node.js, these kind of things that the developers require. At a click of a button, we can install it. If you're doing this all manually. Oh my God, you would be spending a lot of time, right? And now with the new core of Plesk and the API automation, this kind of stuff, I can automate these processes quite fast. So what that means is we need less, our support staff can, can concentrate on being proactive rather than reacting to customer, I need this, I need that. No, they already all have it about this. My opinion is that Plesk is good for these end customers. Our technical people or technically minded people don't like it as much. How, and, and the same for me, I can honestly say that I didn't, I like one of your competitors better than, than um, Pless, but now it's come to grow on me and I can, I can feel that I can get under the hood. The difference between your competitor, you feel like you're always under the hood. With, with uh, Pless, you've got this layer on top that it's like you lift the lid, oh, I don't know, I can't see anything, right? I, I, I've, I've, it, it's, it's become good to me, I'm, and it's taken some time to get to like Plesk, right? <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> right? Um, but for the end customer, and the particular customers that we're dealing with, I feel it gives them an interface and, and features that they can easily use, much easier than a technically minded um, type control panel. It's more designed towards the end customers. WordPress Toolkit is the single most uh, fantastic thing about the Plesk panel, <laughs> I think. If we can think of how that gets extended or other uses of it, I'm sure that it, it could continue to grow quite well. Mm -hmm.